All right, uh, to emoji or not to emoji? Believe it or not, that is a question for today. A new poll from Frog Recruitment has found most workers are embracing the quirky icons with the thumbs up and the tick, proving the most popular for congratulating colleagues on their work. But a quarter of the poll's 1,300 participants reserve emojis just for their personal lives. Frog Recruitment's managing director, Shannon Barlow, says emojis, emoji etiquette. Uh, is still solidifying, leaving workers in danger of misrepresenting certain kinds of smiley faces. She joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. There's so much to contend with being a worker these days, isn't there? Boy, um, you don't want to get your emojis wrong. Okay, tell us, give us us some numbers here. I mean, how, how much is it being used in the workplace, according to this poll? Yeah, well, we found that using emojis is really commonplace in the workplace now. So um, just over 75% regularly use them in day-to-day work. Um, so the, it's definitely the minority that uh, just leaves those for, for, um, for their personal life. So, um, yeah, a, a big part of the, the your um, work operations these days. I'm going to be honest here. I mean, a lot of it's just sheer laziness. I mean, the ability to be able to give <laughs> to give a message wherever it may be coming at you, whatever platform, a thumbs up and move on is, is excellent. Well, that, that it's uh, interesting you've uh, mentioned that one because that, that seems to be one of the ones that can get us into a bit of trouble. Um, and oh, really? it does seem to be... a yeah, so there seems to be a bit of a, a generational gap in uh, how emojis are interpreted. So you and I might give a thumbs up to acknowledge a message or, as you say, save some time and don't have to write the words, just say it's okay. Um, but little do we know we might be having the opposite effect. So um, particularly by your Gen Z or millennials, they might be interpreting that as a bit of a, a passive-aggressive brush-off. Really? I didn't know that. Ah, okay. Um, so what should you do then? A star or something? Or you actually should write something? <laughs> well, I think, um, you know, these these aren't really the big issues, but I, I think you do need to take it into account a little bit. And um, depending on the message, you might want to take that extra time and actually put some words in there. But... Um, well, here's the I, thing. I, I was think thinking about this more. It's more about, you know, you're sort of in a text exchange with someone and you're thinking you've got maybe two texts in you. It's the, the thumbs up sort of at the end of the conversation when, when either person is sort of going, you know, we've kind of finished with this. That's when it's quite good. Yep. You'd agree? No, definitely. Is that all right? I, I'm allowed to do I that? I agree, but I'm at the other end of the spectrum, aren't I? So, of course, I'm going to thumbs up and move on. <laughs> so what are the ones that uh, cause the most problems here? Are there sort of, I mean, there are plenty, a lot of emojis, aren't there? Are there sort of ones that are, you know, no-go zones at work? Yeah, it, it, absolutely. So um, I guess you can consider the emojis as, um, you know, a kind of digital language in their own right. But I guess like learning any language, you've really got to be careful that your message doesn't get lost in translation. So um, some obvious ones, apart from knowing the double meanings of some seemingly innocent fruit and vegetables that can get you into a lot of trouble, um, you know, you, you need to make sure that it's it's appropriate um, and you're sure how it's going to be interpreted so that you know, your message come acro- comes across as you intended and not the opposite. Do you see, I mean, how have they evolved? As you say, it's still solidifying in the workplace, but the emojis, I mean, are tech companies developing more and more of these things or are, they, are we sort of reached peak emoji? Uh, I think they do tend to come out with a, a few extra ones uh, each year, but I think the... Um, you know, the, the solid campaigners from the last five, ten years still seem to be there. Um, I think sometimes, uh, again, that those double meanings or, or what they actually mean or can mean in different contexts, that can change. So you've got to keep up with the times there to um, make sure that your innocent message uh, does, <laughs> doesn't turn into something else. Yeah, while well, someone's texted in an emoji, it's, it's a rude finger. Uh, so, you know, it's got this... <laughs> I don't know what they could possibly mean by that. Um, anyway, oh, that, well, that one might be easy to interpret. <laughs> I mean, will we come to a world? Do you think where people will look back and, and emojis and think, "Boy, what were they thinking?" And this was, you know, pretty lame. Or do you think they're here for good? I think that I don't know. Trends come and go and change, and then come back around again. Um, so I think they're probably here for a wee while. Um, but um, yeah, I, th- I think a key thing is is knowing when to use them and, and what kind of setting. So there there is still a, a reluctance to or 
rather than use more within colleagues and, and internally rather than with, say, your customer base so much. Fair enough. Thank you very much, Shannon. Appreciate that. Thank Shannon you. Barlow there uh, from Frog Recruitment. They did a poll on uh, using emojis and emoji etiquette.